Cellar Door Games. Hello everyone and welcome to First 20 here on Steven Plays. My name is Steven George, I play video games, and every Friday it's the first 20 minutes or so of a game. Today we are going to be taking a look at a game that came out quite some time ago. This game actually came out in summer of 2013. Um, came out in summer 2013 and then was released a year later for all of the PlayStation systems. Came out for PS3, PS4, PS Vita, and then a year later, basically last summer, for um, Xbox One. It is Rogue Legacy. Was I supposed to kill that guy? Because I totally just murdered his face. Uh, I've had a bunch of requests over the years to play this game uh, for first 20. I've just never gotten around to it. And then the other day I was looking through my Steam library and I'm like, oh yeah, I've never played that. And apparently it's very, very good. It's uh, critically acclaimed. It's a roguelike, or as the company calls it, a roguelite, because uh, it is, I guess, uh, a, a kind of kind of light on the, the rules and things like that for a roguelike. Tap down, you know? I did it. I attacked that, and then it turns into a platform, and then it goes back. Got it. So I'm assuming we're in some sort of tutorial right now. I'm just, I'm swinging, and I'm destroying, and I'm getting gold. And I guess things are going alright in here. That's cute, look at that! It's like the Powerpuff Girls, but with not girls, and they're on stained glass, and also they're not anything like that. Press X to attack. Oh, we did it! Um, now before we jump in, uh, I wanted to say something that was really cool. The company that makes this, the developers of Rogue Legacy, are Cellar Door Games. And I was really curious what they made before Rogue Legacy. Well, they did a bunch of Flash games. It, uh, and uh, one of the things they worked on was a text-based adventure game that you may recognize if you spent any time playing Flash games in the past decade called Don't Shit Your Pants. And it is exactly what, what it sounds like. It's, uh, it's like a, you get to watch this, this picture of this guy in a hallway, and it's a text-based game, so you have to type what you want him to do, and you have to get him to navigate successfully into the bathroom and use the bathroom without, you know, going in his pants. It's a funny game that I've played several times over the last few years. It came out in 2009, and uh, it's just funny that... They made that, and then they went on to make Rogue Legacy. Uh, another cool thing about Cellar Door Games is that it's it's two guys. Like, it's two brothers. And these brothers are making these games, and uh, I just think that's really cool. It's not like uh, a big, um, you know, AAA outfit or anything like that. And even when you think of indie developers, sometimes you don't always think about the relationships they have to each other. But it's cool that it's two brothers making games. Anyway, so we're in the game now. Two Manor. I'm gonna to go to the manor. Purchase upgrade skills. Navigate skills smithy. Unlock the smithy and gain access to fat loot. Okay, well I don't have any gold. So I can't do that now, but I guess at some point I'll be able to do things. Training dummy, level two. Ouch. That all you got? Why? Ouch. The pain, blarg, oof. I give up, what I do, ah, that tickles, oof. Does that even. So this is my training dummy. Look at this! I can just keep- can keep the hops coming. Okay, um... So are there, uh... So when you pause the game, it actually shows... Okay, so class, knight, strength, 25, magic 25, armor 0, level 25, blah blah blah. Interesting. Uh, let me look at the controls quickly, because I know that I can swing. Uh, by the way, I'm playing this on Steam. I'm playing a, a computer version with an Xbox 360 controller. Uh, just in case you're interested. Attack, jump, special, dash, cast spell. Got it. Let's, let's try that. Oh, I can't actually do those things yet. <laughs> oh, <laughs> well then why did I bother? Oh, other thing. It says building because, um, it's all generated. It's all procedurally generated, so it's different every single time you play. It's pretty neat. Uh, up. Select a teleporter. Uh, I don't have any yet. Or do I? No, I don't. I'm in the exact same place. You can't go in there. View map any time. Okay, so tower, castle, dungeon, forest. Okay. So if I want to do that, I just hit this. That's my map. Journal entry one. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter castle... I thought that said Hanson. 
It says Hampson. Mbop indeed. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial, but rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Alright. Oh, we got some traps and stuff. I haven't seen any, like, what I would define as legit enemies, though, so I, I'm assuming I can't touch that stuff. That would be bad. Seems dangerous. Can, can I just- can I destroy this table and chairs? Oh, we got some enemies. What up, friend? Oh, god. Okay, Sher- Sherit? Sherit? Do we kill it? We got here. A Frostin. Okay. Now, we haven't even actually seen the big, uh, mechanic thing of, uh, of this game that I have read about, and that is when you die, you come back, uh, as a descendant. And when you come- oh god. Am I good here? Oh shoot. No, I can't duck. Oh, I'm getting hurt. When you die, you come back as a descendant, and you have, like, essentially different diseases and, and, and problems. Um, like, uh, one of them is Tourette's, you can be dyslexic, you can be colorblind, there's all these crazy different things. So I'm really curious to see how that plays out, and it looks like it, we may actually see it sooner rather than later, because I am really good at getting, uh, getting hit here. There we go. And I forget exactly how many descendants you get, but I, I believe there's a finite number. Okay, I can't kill that. Okay, right, careful. Got that thing. These- Whoa! Almost got hit. I'm down to only 3 HP. So I gotta, I gotta be really, really careful here. Fairy chest objective, take no damage. Okay, so I died. Just a few minutes in. Sir Lee has been slain by a plantite. Upgrade your classes early to obtain powerful class abilities. And those are the things I managed to kill. Now when we press A to move on, something is apparently gonna happen. Choose your heir. Okay, Lady Antoinette the Knight. And she has dwarfism. Okay. Sir Lee the Determined Knight. Johannes the Legend. Okay, so this was... Okay, oh, I see. I see. This was my dad, and then this was me, and I, I died, and now I got my kid. So I can do Lady Chun Lee the Barbarian. Nearsighted in EHS. Nearsighted means anything far away is blurry. EHS means you conduct electricity really well. But I have a spell, throw a chakram, uh, which comes back to you. Chakram, or chakram? I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. Lady Antoinette, the knight, his dwarfism. Dwarfism means you never get to ride roller coasters, whatever that means. Um, and then also Sir Jimmy the Barbarian, which has uh, Dexter Cardia. Your MP and HP pulls are swapped. Who knew? Huh. Okay, a walking tank. This here could take a beating. Um, let's go for Lady Chun-Li, who has... Who's nearsighted and has EHS. Okay. So now we we start a new adventure. We have gold, because it's all like new game plusy. So all of the, the gold that we accumulated still helps us. So unlock the smithy and gain access to fat loot. I unlock the smithy. Smithy unlocked. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. Okay. I can also get health up, but I need gold. Oh, I have gold. Give me that. Cool. So now my current HP is 165. And I, I can't do anything else until I get more gold. Oh my god. Oh my god, I really am... I, re <laughs> I really am nearsighted. Oh, Jesus. Welcome here, and maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands, but one day, the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. At a price, of course. Okay, so now I can, like, get stuff. Squire sword. Neat. So, like... You're playing the game, and you die, and it's like, it's okay, you died. Now you have this other weirder person, you know, that has these issues that you play through, but it's New Game Plus, so, like, you continue to accumulate stuff. It's a cool concept. It's a really cool concept. And thing, things really are blurry in front of me. What is this? One must pay the toll. 
Give Sharon all of your money and enter the castle? Uh, I guess? So in order to get back in, you have to... You, you have to go back to zero gold. But that's okay, because you can spend it on, like, the blacksmith and stuff. Alright, so now they are generating, I believe, a completely new castle. I don't think it's even the same castle. I mean, I guess we'll find out soon. That's the diary, which we've already seen. So the diary stays the same. Okay. Let's proceed. Yep, things have changed. Oh my god, I'm getting shot. Okay, but I need to collect this gold, because the gold is going to be extremely valuable. Killed the skeleton. I'm killing all sorts of stuff. Because the gold is how I'm going to continue to level up. Oh, Jesus, there's a friggin' rocket launcher in here. Get out of here. A guard box 2000. Got it. Okay, open this thing up. Oh, my God. I'm filthy friggin' rich. Fantastic. Okay. Down we go. Further over here. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't, can't. Oh, jeez. Okay. Yeah, sure. Also, what's my special? Okay. Got it. Uh, I would like to go that way, but also I don't want to friggin' die. And I'm gonna take a lot of damage, so let's go this way instead. Okay, there's fireballs or something. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh my god. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting... ...attacked like crazy here. I need to be playing this... I'm playing this like an action-adventure game, and I need to be playing it like a roguelike. Because I'm getting... I'm getting killed. Literally, I'm dying. Lady Chun-Li didn't last very long, unfortunately, but that's okay, because we'll just choose another heir. Now, she was great, she was wonderful, but now... Alzheimer's? You have trouble remembering where you are? Oh, God. Um, stereo blind, you can't see in 3D. Huh. Okay. Ectomorph, you're skinny, so every hit sends you flying. ADHD, so energetic, you move faster. Okay, let's go, yeah, let's go with the ectomorphic ADHD person. And we still have all that money, so we can increase our health if we'd like. We can upgrade the knight, turns your knights into paladins, a ferocious forefront fighter. Uh, press Y to block all incoming damage. That, that sounds pretty great. Let's do that, and then, uh... Promote your knights into paladins, learn to block bows from every direction. Okay, great. And then we've also got equip up, upgrading your, uh... Carry capacity will allow you to wear better and heavier armor. So, we can do that. Okay, and now we've unlocked some, some other things. Architect, unlock the architect and gain the powers to lock down the castle. Unlock the enchantress and gain access to her magical runes and powers. Yeah, let's get some magic runes. So the enchantress is up now. Uh, can empower your body with magical runes, making you better, stronger, faster, jumpier. Thanks, Staff Punk. Find runes to increase her repertoire of body-modifying talents. Her crystal ball was just for show. And that opened up magic uh, damage up. And upgrade to mage. Uh, unlock the latent powers of the mage and transform them into the... Okay. Uh, I'm going to spend a little bit more on health while I'm here. Um, I do want to... I, I want to use up my money because I know if I don't use it, I lose it. But I don't think there's anything else I can really buy. So I think I'm good for now. Okay, so now- oh my god, I move. Oh, I move much, much more quickly, holy crap. Hi, how are you? Hello, hero, could I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. See, I used to be a very powerful enchantress, but one day, the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased that knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell it back to you at a profit. Okay! Vault Rune grants you the power to jump in the air, so there's all these special abilities. Um, which are really neat. But, you know, I don't have enough gold. I'll get it soon, but I probably also will die, but that's alright. So we get up here, talk to our good buddy who wants to take all of our money, but that's alright. We are back into a brand new castle, which is now being developed. Wow, look at me go. I recovered some health. What's up? Oh my god, ran right into that. Alright, I'm gonna play it a little bit safer. Hopefully. Try not- <laughs> That one- that one I'm not gonna claim responsibility for. I'm moving a lot faster than I was previously. So it's a little weird. I need that, thanks a lot. But I really like the, uh, the New Game Plus elements of the game. 
because essentially, you could play this, like, if this is a game that truly interests you, you it doesn't matter if you're terrible. And like, you, you know, you'll get better in time, but, like, you could be terrible from the get-go, and, like, that's okay, because you will continue to acquire the stuff that will, you know, make your person better. And there's no, like, experience system or anything like that. It's all based on the gold. Jesus. Did that do what I wanted it to do? Yeah, I was trying to... I was trying to show that off. It didn't really work. Uh, I need health. Holy God. Like, holy crap. That is not good. Can't get him there. Got him. Take it easy. Watch out for these things. No, 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 no. Oh my god, I ran right into him. Son of a... Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Don't die. Careful. Oh my god, there's something big up there. Got it. Okay, that's a big one. I think it's one of the bosses. I think there's a few bosses in each thing, and I think that's one of the bosses just based on the fact that he's got a big lock on him. And that seems... Don't get hit by the bone. Okay. I really need to... I kind of wonder, do these things... Now, are the enemies cleared out? Are they cleared out? Yeah, they're cleared out. I kind of wonder if, if I go back to the beginning where that book was... Oh, shoot. If I'll recover HP, like if there's a place I can always recover HP. Answer to that is no. <laughs> no, it is roguelike through and through. I don't get to suddenly eat food. Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm probably doomed. I'm probably, especially because I'm so stinking fast. Holy crap. And everything, um, this was the ectomorph character, so it, like everything sends me flying. Let's go this way. What's up, bros? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I see you trying to get me with that. Why don't you come over here? Huh? Why don't you come over here? Huh? Huh? You don't like me? Huh? You don't like me? Gotcha. Oh, my God. And there's that guy. See that guy down there with the big thing? He's, he's going to kill, kill me. He's coming. This is stupid. I, I can't. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to go down there. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go this way. <laughs> Let's go down here. Oh, I love the concept of this game, though. Um, like, I think it's super cool. And this is a game that I could see myself actually really enjoying. Uh, especially for the fact that, um, you know, you're, you're always going to be getting better. Because all of this money is stuff that you're going to be able to utilize. That guy would hurt my face. Careful. Careful. Woo! The zombies have to die first. Oh! Oh, I slapped them! Oh, I died. <laughs> Lady Lisa. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, you did not do so hot. Well, she was great, the stout barbarian, but then she, uh, she had... Muscle weakness. You have weak limbs, enemies won't get knocked back. Oh, that's bad. Uh, electrophobia. Electorophobia. Chickens freak you out. Okay, I don't know if that's relevant. It could be. Who knows? Uh, hypergonadism. You're permaroided. Attacks knock enemies further. That sounds great. Wow. Look at this. A risky hero. Low stats, but can land devastating critical strikes. Ah. And then that's the Paladin, the standard hero. Special Guardian Shield. Now, because we got that special thing for Paladins where you can hold Y and you can block everything, that's probably good, uh, a good one. But I'm going to go with the person that has low stats but devastating stuff. So I get 260 gold here. Um, I could give myself more health. Because my current is 90 HP. But, uh, no, I'm... Mm -hmm. Equip up. Upgrade Mage. Enchantress, Architect. Can increase the mana so you can do more cool stuff. Uh, give me... Give me this. And also 70 is not enough to do anything with, is it? Of course not. Alright. Why am I being followed by a black fog? I don't understand. Does this teach me about my stuff? Okay. Plus 15% crit chance. Uh, 125% crit damage, low HP, MP, and strength. Huh. That's my profile card. Alright, well, the more you know. Um, I don't think a 70 is enough to buy any of their stuff either, so yeah, just take my money. Once more, we go into a castle that has been custom-built 
We grab some of this crap. I have lower health than ever, but uh, I have a higher chance of doing some some mad damage, dog. Oh yeah, and they also get knocked back pretty far, which is pretty sweet. Oh yeah, I actually I like this. Um, I like using glass cannons in video games. So this is actually this fits my playstyle pretty well. What's up, bro? Oh god, corrupt knight. You're corrupted. I'm getting shot at a little. Oh, Grey Knight, what up? Critical. That thing keeps going. Can I take that down? Oh, I can. It's dead. What's up, bro? Oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. See, I now I'm now I'm now I'm doing now I'm doing quite well. Now I'm on a, on a roll here. No, I did, did not hit it. I need that food, bro. Ugh. Oh, son of a gun. Oh my god, <laughs> I was trying to do a down attack! The game is pretty unforgiving, admittedly. Like, you're gonna continue to get better because you're... ...going through and, and getting all these stats and stuff, but, uh... ...it's still... ...pretty unforgiving! Gracious, I've developed quite a long history in the span of 20 minutes. Had a lot of deaths. So this is an actual mage. Powerful spellcaster, every kill gives you mana. IBS. Even the most valiant heroes can suffer from irritable bows. God, this guy's pretty much me. Gay, you are a fan of the man. Okay, maybe not so much. Uh, so a gay mage, uh, a knave with dementia, you are insane. Uh, and then flexible and glaucoma. Glaucoma, it's so dark. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the, uh, the episode. Um... But I wanted to at least get my gay mage out here in the field here uh, and see what this is about. Like, it looks like I can stop time or something. I'm not sure what that's about. Go ahead and confirm. I'm inside, building an entirely new castle. And I'll take this opportunity to say thank you for watching. Uh, Rogue Legacy is available on Steam for Windows, OS X, Linux. It's also available on PS3. P oh my god. PS3, PS4. Shoot. Oh my god, I'm almost ready to die. That's... that is crazy. Uh, PS3, PS4, PS Vita, and Xbox One. There we go. Thank god. Alright, so every time I kill something, I get more mana back. So what does this do? I can freeze time... But freezing time doesn't make you invulnerable. And Sir Hornsby killed himself on a spike. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you have a game that you would like to see shown on First 20, then leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you next week <laughs> for another Stephen Plays First 20. It may or may not involve gay mages. <laughs>